Hello everybody. The Warriors were ahead when Otto Porter Jr. got injured and he's been very important to the Warriors this playoffs. And the Warriors immediately fell into an eight point hole. Here Juan Toscano Anderson setting the screen. Steph takes it, forces Luca to switch on to Steph. Our guy Juanito immediately starts bulldozing his defender here all the way into the lane. Steph blows by Luca, and now the natural person to rotate would be Juan Toscano Anderson's defender, but he can't rotate because Juan is screening his own man. So Juan Toscano Anderson and Moody doing a lot of communicating on defense. There, there can't be very many minutes that this lineup has played together. And so they're negotiating who's gonna cover Luca. First we see Juan Toscano Anderson pointing. I think he's pointing saying, I got Luca. And then Moody's now pointing over at this guy saying, hey, Switch, you gotta pick up this guy. I've got Luca. And Juan's looking at him like, what? No. And you see him talking and he's pointing at himself. I think he's saying, no man, I got Luca. And he's gonna point at this guy saying, you gotta take that guy. And Moody says, all right, you've been here longer. And Juan Descon Anderson, respect, he's stepping up to the challenge of guarding Luca. Here's Dinwiddie setting a screen to try to get Steph to switch to Luca. This has been the story of the entire series. I've explained in my video on game one that the Warriors pulled out this defense that they invented for Steph to guard LeBron. And it's more than a hedge, right? So like a hedge is when someone is using the screen and you come out and you try to meet them and block them from going any further and then you try to recover to your man. So it's like a hedge, but this is way more than a hedge. If you look at all the video, what he's trying to do is run up and smack Luca before Luca gets to the screen. He's trying to trigger the screener to cut too early or for Luca to pick up his dribble. The Mavs have been trying to counter this. When Steph does this high tag, Steph's man immediately releases his screen and runs off somewhere. Dinwiddie wants to pop out. But Juan Descon Anderson just gets in his way. <laughs> I guess Juan actually grabs him, but you know, this is playoff basketball. So now Juan has recovered to Luca. This turns into a long lingering goodbye. Steph tries to read what Doncic is doing. And then finally he says, well, I guess you're not attacking me. So I'm just gonna go pick up Dinwiddie. And I think Dinwiddie is saying, hey man, I'm totally open. What are you doing? So Luca decides to ISO Juan Toscano Anderson and Juan actually draws an offensive foul. Luca tries to fake a foul by hooking his arm around Juan Toscano Anderson's arm. Nice angle of the hook. Here you see he pulls up and he just holds Juan's arm like this. He's trying to pull Juan's arm into himself and Juan retracts it. Luckily, the referee here has a really good view and he gets the right call. I'm gonna say Luca has some guts here. He's talking to the ref and he's trying to say, hey, that guy Juan Toscano Anderson hooked me. Well, Draymond takes a sweet time, but he loops around and it looks like it's gonna be another give and go. Steph cuts behind Draymond, little handoff, but Bullock definitely wants to cut off this pass back. Dinwiddie is ready to jump out to pick up Steph, and it was all going so well. Bullock on Steph and Dinwiddie on the other side, and Draymond says, yoink, this is a, one of the fake handoffs. Luca, he has to make a business decision, and he says, ah, I'll just peel off. I think that defense was too soft to be an and one, but Draymond yells and one for every layup. Probably every time each of his kids was born in the hospital, he screamed, and won. Luca just turns this into a straight ISO on Draymond. I don't really know why he would voluntarily do this. Maybe he's trying to get Draymond to pick up another foul. But look at what Luca has to deal with. If he tries to blow by Draymond to this side, Steph is playing way off of Bullock is having a nightmare shooting game. Steph's not afraid of his shooting. If Luca goes this way, he's got to get past Clay, who's sunk in all the way over here off Dinwiddie. And if he somehow gets by all these guys, Andrew Wiggins is just hanging out under the basket. And Kevon Looney is here too. There's just a lot of people between Luca and the basket. Jokic, playbook, spinning left trying to get Draymond to commit, and then instant spin right. Pretty beautiful move with this pivot. Draymond stays patient, just puts his arm up. Weird off balance shot. Not one of Luca's better possessions. This flows into a split. Looney is going to cut. There is space down the middle, so Dinwiddie has to respect this and follow Looney. Steph will fill the space behind Looney. Now it's just a straight ISO on Bullock. <laughs> Which, I mean, what are you gonna do about that? So this is gonna be a ghost screen here. Try to, to get Steph into the action and maybe let Doncic switch on to him. But Steph is now not the doing classic high tag anymore. It's more of a soft trap now. He just comes up and instead of just trying to tag Doncic and run away to his man, 
he just lingers to enjoy the views. After Doncic doesn't attack Steph, Steph says, all right, the way is clear for me to recover to my man. Doncic must be tired because this is a pretty terrible shot. TV didn't show the start of this play, but I suspect it was a stagger screen where Wiggins was setting a screen, Looney setting a second screen, Steph dribbled across. Steph's defender got hung up on Wiggins' screen, and now Wiggins is rolling down the middle. Steph just tossed it over the top. Dinwiddie does rotate to try to stop this, but he's smaller than Wiggins. Steph is currently guarding this guy, so he's going to come over and set a screen to try to bring Steph into the action. Draymond says, let me have the honors, and he switches over because he would love to be defending Luka, and Steph just switches over here on the backside. Steph and Clay negotiating. Steph with a little bit of a fling of the arm saying, Clay, you take that guy. In the meantime, over here, Luka just says, ah, I'll just accept this ISO on Andrew Wiggins. Doncic does this hesitation drop step move to get by Wiggins, but Wiggins doesn't panic. Luka, for some reason, does a double clutch, and that gives Andrew enough time to get a piece of that ball. Steph tries to improvise. Clay coming this way, Steph coming this way. I think he was thinking it could handoff. Dallas does a decent job clogging this all up. But Clay does get the ball off of Steph's little pass. Good rotation here. Dorian Finney-Smith stops Clay's drive. Andrew Wiggins is open. Luca goes for the steal here. That was a subtly bad play because we already had Bullock recovering out here to Wiggins, so that leaves Looney open. No one's afraid of Looney shooting over here, but Looney and Draymond know if you're open out here, find the nearest shooter and dribble handoff to him so that they can hide behind you and shoot. This defender definitely does not want to let Steph get this dribble handoff from Looney, so he's trying to shoot the gap, and Steph says, see ya, and he goes the other way. And Looney leads Steph into the corner. This is a pretty fast recovery from Dinwiddie, but Steph Curry is a bad man. Warriors, horns flex play. Horns means people in the corners. People at the elbows, ball up high. In this play, Steph feeds one of the elbows, cuts over, and sets this side screen for Wiggins. And Luca decides to meet Wiggins on the other side of the screen, which means Wiggins is completely open to catch this on this curl. He'll have Luca isoed right next to the basket, and Luca can't do anything about this sweeping hook shot. Draymond trying to attack the Dallas defense before they get set. Typical Warriors to throw it ahead to the wing spot. Amazingly, Klay Thompson has snuck ahead of everybody and he's just completely alone under the basket. If Steph had gone fast, he could have hit Klay for an open layup, but he sees it pretty fast. Dallas's defense in disarray now. Everyone is collapsing on Thompson and Klay <laughs> instead of finding the open man like Wiggins here open for a three or Draymond here for a dribble pitch. He says, well, I can just pivot over here and there's no defenders on this side, so let me just shoot a short jumper. I feel like this was low-key the heartbreaking play. Wiggins coming over to set one screen, Looney coming over to set a second screen, so Steph gets a stagger screen. Bullock is trailing Steph. This defender is trying to stay with Steph. Powell is guarding Looney, but he has to be ready to defend Steph. He's playing a drop here. Steph is going to turn this corner and there's gonna be so much space here, so he'll just have a pull-up three. Probably was not what Powell's supposed to do because Jason Kidd is watching this and he instantly calls timeout. So the Warriors slowly expanded their lead for most of the rest of this game. This is the most hope that Dallas had. Davis Bertans, of all people, throws down this mega dunk. I think when Bertans dunks on you, it counts double. So the Dallas crowd is going bonkers. They've cut it to a six point lead. There's plenty of time left. In times of crisis, they go to the Draymond, Steph pick and roll. Here Draymond setting the screen. Looks like Steph wants to take it this way. So the defender naturally wants to intercept Steph and the big naturally wants to meet Steph on the other side just in case the screen works. So then Draymond flips the angle of the screen and suddenly this defender who had done such a good job getting around the screen will be nailed by the screen. This big had cheated to this side and now he's suddenly on the wrong side of the screen. Steph Curry just blows by and there's nobody in this entire sector of the galaxy and Maxi Kleber just fouls Steph hard from behind. Next time down, Draymond trying to set this quick drag screen. The defender goes under, which is something you usually don't do on Steph, but Steph is eight feet behind half court. So I think it's safe to go under the screen. Now he's navigated around the screen. Screen defeated, right? Wrong. Draymond says, that was only my first form. 
now I'm evolving into my second form. I was only using 30% of my power before. So Draymond flips the screen from being this direction to this direction, and this will nail the defender, and Steph will force Brunson to switch. Brunson closes out really hard, and to deter Steph from pulling up for three. And Steph says, thank you very much. I will treat you as a traffic cone. And one defender behind Steph, Bertans reaching out to try to grab the ball. Low man rotating to stop Steph's drive. This guy rotating off the wing to stop Steph's drive. I don't know why he's rotating. Where should Steph throw it to? Clay Thompson has an idea. He's pointing this way with his arm, and there's a signpost leading to Andrew Wiggins. So Steph throws it. 25 feels free to leave Draymond in order to help. Wiggins is going to attack this closeout, but because Steph and Clay are in this corner, we had Brunson and Finney Smith selling out hard to catch up to them, which leaves Luca of all people being the last line of defense. Andrew Wiggins has a lot of runway. This looks like about 15 feet to go up hard and try to throw it down on Luca. Give Luca credit, he did try to contest this shot and he becomes part of a poster. The referee called this an offensive foul. This is not a great time to challenge. They're up eight. You usually save a challenge in case there's some very pivotal high leverage play in the last couple of minutes. But you know, that was just such a cool dunk. They're, they're like, nah, this is, forget game theory. This is about justice. This is about the integrity of the game. We can't allow that play to be erased. We got Wiggins throwing his arms up angrily like someone didn't realize the fries were part of the poutine and we've got luca here trying to sell it he's like yes i have been gravely damaged yeah that man punched me in the throat and after the officials had some time to look at it they decided this was a natural basketball motion wiggins goes up well, he probably did make contact with luca's upper chest but this is just a natural basketball motion. Where else are you supposed to put your arm? He wasn't elbowing or, or whacking Luca. Right after that contact, which you can see was down in the upper chest, maybe sort of near the bottom of his throat, Luca, quick thinking. His flop instincts are quick. He immediately snaps his head back like Wiggins just Will Smith slapped him into the next century. Look at that. That's, that's selling it. Look at that head snap. Oh, and I like this. He's using his hands to hold his face like oh i've been nailed in the face by that bad man holding the nose that's the real flop there luca's european they have more advanced flop technology in europe you know because of all the soccer the contact happens down here and then luca is going to reach up for his nose there yeah well everyone here in the stands looks utterly traumatized look at this kid he's got his mouth wide open he looks like an emoji well all i gotta say is even if it was game theoretically wrong to throw that challenge. It had the side effect of letting everyone in the stadium watch that dunk 25 times from every conceivable angle, so which I don't think felt real good to the Mavericks because they never really got any closer than this. This is pretty much the end of the game. Let's see if we can do some lip reading here. It looks like Draymond might be saying that dunk is hard as fudge. Yeah, it's a good point, Draymond. Fudge is awfully hard to make, labor intensive, but it tastes so good at the end. Good job encouraging your teammate while shouting out to food workers of America. 